Fast Cat here to tell you why Sweet Spot training is superior to Zone 2 training alone. We're busting out our pocket protector and our physiology text for this one, so come on in. This table is, illustrates the expected physiological adaptations from training in zones 1 through 7. If you follow my cursor here, uh, zone 1 here, zone 2, this tempo, sweet spot, threshold, VO2, and neuromuscular power. And so what you see down here is all the pocket protector stuff. This is the stuff that comes from your exercise physiology text that you study in graduate school, but it's increased plasma volume, uh, increased mitochondrial density, stroke volume, cardiac output, uh, and fast twitch, slow twitch, all that stuff. And so what uh, Andy has done, Dr. Andy Coggin gave me this table back when we were inventing the performance manager chart, developing it is probably a better word, but these X's represent the physiological adaptation that occurs um, for that particular uh, physiological adaptation and the amount per, per zone. So uh, active recovery, that's, you're not really forcing anything. It's just, it, it happens. But when you train in, in zone two, um, the polarized approach, you know, it's two axes here for increased mitochondrial density. And then you're going to uh, convert fast twitch maybe over to slow twitch muscle fibers, you know, and increase glycogen synthesis and lactate threshold. But as you move over to the right, you'll notice there's more X's. There's more physiological adaptations. You go harder, you force a greater physiological adaptation. And so what you see here, the, the sweet spot is highlighted because, well, that's what we're talking about, but there are way more X's, way more physiological adaptations that occur in the sweet spot compared to zone two alone. And when you are considering training on a limited amount of time, I use the expression, ain't nobody got time for that because you get a much better bang for your buck training in the sweet spot uh, than you do in zone two alone. Now, you may look at this and say, but there's even more X's, more physiological adaptations by training in threshold or zone five. And VO2 max intervals are very good for you. Um, there's a time and a place for them, for sure. I'm a big advocate of that. And then even uh, threshold intervals, you gotta go hard. You gotta train specifically for your event. However, when you are building an aerobic foundation, your base, when you're raising your CTL, your training load, if you go and, and you know crack out a bunch of threshold intervals, you'll get these adaptations, but the next day you can't uh, follow that up. There's too much physiological stress, there's strain. Therefore, if you just dial it back a little bit, which is the premise of sweet spot, don't go as hard as you can, you can get nearly as many physiological adaptations here but then recover because the physiological strain is not as much and then repeat that the next day or the next day. And therefore, sweet spot training, uh, if you have a limited amount of time to train, forces this many physiological adaptations compared to zone two. And that has been my rationale for uh, prescribing sweet spot training for the past 15 years. Okay, I mentioned physiological strain and from threshold training relative to sweet spot training. And I wanna show you what, what I'm talking about there. So in this graph, just like the table, we're talking about zones one, two, three, four, five, six, as we go from left to right. And as you, as you train, zone two does not incur that much physiological strain, nor does sweet spot. But once you start getting up into the, the full gas, two by twenties, the threshold interval workouts, you begin to incur a lot of physiological strain. Okay, now let's go back to the adaptations. You achieve a lot of physiological adaptations as represented by this, this parabola here from training in zone two, more in three and, and four, and it tops out in, in threshold training right here. So you get a lot of physiological adaptations. However, the strain is high. Now look at the physiological strain of sweet spot relative to the physiological adaptations here. So pretty close to zone four, but a lot less strain. 
And therein lies the principle of sweet spot training. You get a lot of physiological adaptations with not a lot of physiological stress. Therefore, you're able to do more of it day to day consistently, consistently and therefore achieve a greater build, a greater physiological effect in a training block, in a week, in a month, in a, an entire winter of building your base. And that's why sweet spot training has been a staple for my coaching and our training plans for 15 years now. To give Sweet Spot Training a try, you can browse our website under tr our training plans. We have an 18 weeks of Sweet Spot Training plan that incorporates uh, version Sweet Spots 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we have Sweet Spot for the Cycle Crosser. We have Sweet Spot for the Triathlete. And we have Sweet Spot for Marathon Mountain Biking, which is very specific to the marathon races. Let me show you what uh, we got under the hood. Just click uh, the plan that works for you. We'll give you a free Training Peaks account. Uh, it's a simple, easy to follow, step by step, day by day uh, training plan telling you exactly what to do. We'll give you a free Yoga Glow membership. There's 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back, no questions asked. Um, and when you're choosing your plan, um, you can buy them here. You just click buy now, but first choose whether you have four to eight hours a week to train, eight to 12 hours per week to train, or 12 hours or more to train. Here's an example of training week, sweet spot on Tuesday, sweet spot group ride on Saturday. You still got to ride less. You still got to do zone two, but this is how it all looks in, uh, in training peaks. This is a seven hour week. This is from the basic plan. Again, if you want to give sweet spot training uh, a, a, plan, a try, buy it from our website here, and uh, we look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching, and good luck, sweet spot. Yeah.